You know, I think I might ride a three wheeler today. People have been telling me I don't ride my three wheelers enough, so I want to put them in the house and push them around. I think I might go ride a three wheeler. Hey, Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Minus one. High of twelve. It's all right. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh yeah. Feel that. I'm pretty sure we need to get some video of this. Beautiful day. We'll make you listen to my crunching. Let's hear how the old 350X likes to start up on a zero minus degree day. If you didn't know, hey, welcome to this old trike. My name's Preston. I live in upstate New York. The real upstate New York, not not Poughkeepsie, not Kingston, not somewhere just north of uh, New York City. Place where we get real snow. Eh, haven't really got real snow this year, but it's coming supposedly tomorrow. So we're gonna pull out my rider 350X. How well she starts when it is frigid. I'm pretty confident we're gonna have to dose up the, the tires with some uh, some air, tap off the tank, and uh, go from there. So let's see what happens. So I didn't even notice when I was getting this machine out that the A on my Honda sign had fallen down and it had fell onto the uh, my really nice 85 350X and a little bit onto my really nice 86 350X. Didn't do any damage to those machines that I can tell at the moment, but the top corner of the letter kind of the flange part that gets hidden when it's mounted properly. Um, it broke off a little bit, so I'm gonna have to connect that back together and really finish these letters off. I've been meaning to trim them out with with white one by six or something like that and put a shelf above it. And I think this is now the excuse that I needed to to make this happen. But you'll see things are crammed in there pretty tight and tires are soft and had to move things around to get this machine out. Just the name of the game. Old show. I really thought I was going to just rip this thing and show you that it fired right up on the first, second, maybe third kick. But as you can see, it is not going according to plan. It fires and then runs for what, 
half second, it dies out. So for some reason, it's just, I think maybe the carburetor was super duper cold and not letting the gas flow like it should, but I'm definitely getting my work out here. about that. I think I'm going to try to let it warm up in the shop just a little bit. I don't know why she wants to cut out like that. Got my heart rate up though. She was just gonna fire right up, make me look like a million bucks. But she is cold, it is cold. I'm gonna get more gas, top this off, let it warm up just a little bit. Then we'll watch it start. So I just wanted to double check that I didn't have a nest in there, and I don't. So that's good. Obviously, the machine is cold, cold. But it fires right up, but it's it stops like it's not getting... The fuel it needs consistent. So let's uh, let's give it a couple kicks in here. It's only been um, two minutes. Still on choke. Two blips. She died. is dripping. Oh, are you serious? That's new. Maybe it wants a new plug. Let's do a new plug. Yeah. I was probably do. She's running a little rich. But let's slide this one in. See what happens. Okay. Still on choke.
mucho. Here we go.
Okay. Holy mackerel. It is freezing. So, that's the lake I live on. That is a great Sacandaga Lake. Nestled peacefully in the foothills of the Adirondack Mountains. My gimbal can't stay level for some reason. Maybe the three-wheeler will put it on the level. Well, we just did a speed run through the Northampton campground. I used my one app to measure top speed out on the lake, because I'm sure we didn't hit it in the campsite there. But uh, 65 miles an hour is what we were maxing out at. And if you had asked me what this thing did, I probably would have told you that. And this is with motor work, with a super trap, with a cam. It's got gobs of power. I love it. It's super duper fun. And, uh, oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. Well. Guess, uh, guess I'll be buying some new fork boots. Wow. I'm not sure when that happened, but uh, probably during one of those wheelies. All right. Well, you know, if you if you you know feel the need to to tell your friends to subscribe to the channel to get my views up to help help me offset the cost of my fork boots. That has never ever happened to me. Wow. That is how cold it is today. It is so cold, I'm going to put my, uh, my glove back on and get going. <sighs> get the GoPro footage on the way back. It's a man-made lake, if you didn't know. Built to control the, uh, the flooding that would occur in the springtime when all the snow would melt. The flooding of the Hudson down around the Albany and Cohoes area. My friend Lauren Roberts and uh, Jason Kemper did a lovely uh, history on this. So, my gimbal battery is low. So if you're curious on the history of this lake, you should look into that. Uh, I'll post a link, because I think the history is valuable and it's very interesting. And my hand is literally freezing to death. So, uh, we're going to close this out. Here we go.
macro. Wow. That was cold. That trip back from the campsite to here hurt. Oh, man. I have a snow machine helmet, snowmobile helmet that doesn't have a gimbal mount on it. So I think if we're gonna do that sort of thing again, we gotta put a gimbal mount on that because, you know, I was only protected about here. So everything here, it was hurting. Uh, my hands got really cold. I can't believe those fork boots broke. Well, good excuse to put some fresh ones on it, I guess. Um, wow. So what else? The machine ran great. Obviously, once it warmed up. Um, I doubt it was just the spark plug that was giving me trouble. My, uh, my pet cock isn't leaking anymore. Funny things happen when, when stuff gets cold. Poor fork boots. I'm sorry. You're pretty, they're hard. That's why. Their days were numbered. I have to tell my buddy, Adam, of the loss. They're just not supple anymore. Supple. Stay supple, guys, you know? It's a good motto to live by. Ran great. Top speed, 65 miles an hour. Um, that's good. I'm 41. I really don't need to go faster than 65 miles an hour on a, what are you now, 37-year-old three-wheeler. I learned last year, things happen real fast, and then you're hurt. So, hope you enjoyed that ride. Got to do that more often. We're expecting some big snow um, Sunday. So, might be able to take a little ride tomorrow, air some things out. But, uh, after that, it's going to get tricky to get out there. It won't be wide open like that. Like that's perfect conditions out there for this type of thing other than it being utterly cold um if it were 25 and up that would be amazing but zero <laughs> fahrenheit not so much but i guess that's it over and out thanks for watching we'll catch you next time